Good afternoon, everybody. So, this morning I was able to get all of the new bearings put on all five shafts for this 3420 transmission. Um, got my dial indicator out. And we are going to be reinstalling these shafts back into these two case halves. I went ahead and buffed the surfaces, the mating surfaces, and stood them up outside and cleaned the cases out with some mineral spirits and uh, with a solvent gun. So, got them good and clean. This will be the bottom half. This is what we're going to set the shafts into. It's going to stay stationary. I would do this on my bench, but these are both steel case halves and it's going to be very difficult for me to take this top half off um, and not, I mean, and have leverage to get it off of there and back on again. It's just easier when it's below your, you know, below your waist. You can lift it right off. So this will be the bottom half. This is the top half. This is the half where we, go, we are going to have to shim the bearing races. <clears throat> not looking forward to that part and they give you a pretty good breakdown you can see these holes behind each bearing race um, some of those have plugs when this top case half goes on that's where we're going to use a dial indicator to measure the end play in and out and that'll tell us if we're tight enough or not quite tight enough our specification is one to three thousandths of an inch of end play. Basically as tight as you can get it without burning the bearing up, <laughs> more or less. Um, it's going to be tough to get done on five different shafts all the same end play. So we're going to try to go together with basically the same shims that we're in it to begin with, even though we have new bearings and everything's going to be different. We're going to try that first and take some measurements, go from there. Please uh, forgive my voice again. I'm, I'm still fighting off this chest cold and uh, trying not to lose my voice here. So we're going to go ahead with this and I'll take a couple of snippets along the way. Okay, just wanted to show you where I'm at here. Um, a little farther in. <clears throat> so I've assembled, or well the shafts are assembled, I put the new races in the bottom of the, of the case, threw the shafts in, I had to double check my races, there's, there's actually four different kinds of bearings in this. Most are the same type, but there's a couple that are very similar and it was, the person had to really pay attention and make sure that everything was in their correct position so everything's in everything looks correct and so I've got my new races in the case up here I have the plugs out so we can check the clearances I went ahead and just put the factory shims back in it factory thickness we're gonna the surfaces are cleaned off I'm gonna put this top on the on the transmission. I put grease around these races so they'd stay put. It's a very tight, it's a snug fit, but it's one that you can pull them in and out by hand. And I just don't want this falling out as I put the top on. And I'll have shims everywhere. So I'm gonna do this and we'll check some clothes. So we're getting a little closer now. Um where I'm at on it when I put this together is out of the five shafts only one shaft here at the back had proper um, preload and I've removed at least one shim from three sh three, three of the shafts uh, this one I've removed two shims on and I'm just going to show you how I check it it's got a bolt thread it into the end of the shaft through that soft plug hole and I just got a pry bar on a block I don't know if you can read that dial indicator or not this camera is not very uh, 
it doesn't uh, handle detail very well. I'm gonna turn my light down a little bit. Okay. And that's showing only about one thousandth. I'm gonna turn it a little bit. Which one thousandths within spec? Um, check it again. Yeah, it's showing about one thousandth, but I was getting three thousandths on it previously. <clears throat> um, but out of that one shaft alone, I removed. Uh, about 15 thousandths worth of shims. Um, which kind of makes me wonder, I mean, these are all shims I removed that were in the case from the factory. And like I said, four out of the five shafts were too tight. The one shaft that had the bearing out on it was quite tight. And I'm kind of wondering if this was a factory, possibly a factory error uh, when they set it up. And maybe some excessive bearing preload caused the bearing failure that I saw. And the reason that it's a it's a part today. So what I'm gonna do now is remove the case half again, remove the top, um, remove the main shaft, go ahead and put the shift fork back on. Basically get all the detents and all of that put back in place that basically the, the really important part and from there I'm going to use some anaerobic sealer between the case halves which is just a fancy word for really expensive silicone but going to do that do all the finishing touches on it and get ready to put it back in the machine so uh, from here I don't know if I'll take much more video or not um, may do something with the installation and then kind of follow up on how it's going to work out in the end.